All right. Hey, everyone. Uh, so excited to have you here with us tonight. Uh, yeah, we are running with Glare. This is our the Spring Forward show. So excited. Um, and uh, yeah, we're hoping to bring you some terrific, fantastic, fresh comedy tonight. So without any further ado, uh, Brian with Glitter presents their Spring Forward show. Yay! Hey there! So I see you're in the market for a new home. Thank you so much for taking time for this quick interview. I can't imagine how hard it is to look for a home remotely, but I'll make it easy for you. Thanks, bro. Oh, I think you're muted. Yeah, Jason. Oh, dude, sorry. I'm just saying, we're psyched. Oh, that's wonderful. So how long have you two been together? Ew, what? Bro, we're not together. Yeah, we're just best bros. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. I just thought, you know, most people buying homes are our partners. <laughs> yeah, lady, you got us all wrong. We fuck chicks. We fuck them hard, all day and all night. Of course, again, I am so sorry. Um, so so tell me, what, uh, what makes you wanna purchase a home together? I mean, we would just spend so much time at each other's places, we figured we might as well get our own place together, and move in. Yeah, it's like he would stay at my place for weeks at a time, and then I'd do the same at his. At a certain point, it's like, bruh, we are throwing away those dollar dollar bills. Yeah, of course. That makes so much sense. So you're looking for a two-bedroom? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we'll take the master. We? Yeah, the two of us. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, uh, master bedrooms are definitely spacious, but I'm not sure you can fit two beds in there comfortably. No, that's fine. We're going to share a bed. Yeah, a king bed for us kings. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, of course. So the other room will, room will be a, a gym or a home office or... No, that, that's for Junior. Oh, who's Junior? Your dog? Yo, lady, what did you just call our boy? Jason, it's chill. It's chill. Yo, lady, seriously, though, you call our son a dog again, we'll find your boyfriend and beat the shit out of him. Oh, I am so sorry. I, again, I apologize. I didn't mean to offend. So, uh, Junior is whose son? Ours. And you're, you're not together? Damn, Jason. This lady is thick. No, we're not together. We fuck hot-ass bitches. And them bitches love a dad. So what's better than one dad? Two dads. Bros! And for Junior, he's got the strongest support system. Two dads who love him very much. And each other. And each other. No homo, though. Yeah, no homo. So why you got to read into that, lady? Uh, no, yeah, that, that makes total sense. Um, so you'll be looking for a big backyard? Yeah, for those bangers we're going to throw. Yeah, lady, we throw the best parties. You should come through next time. Oh, yeah. I... <laughs> Oh man, remember that one? All those hot chicks we had there? Damn! Every mom from Junior's class was there. He was having the best time. Oh, and Brad, your quiche was a hit! Oh, that's beautiful. Um, so, okay, I think I have all the information I need to start hunting for the right house. Lady, you're my hero. Will you be available next weekend to come see a few houses in person? Uh, actually, no, nah, man. We're going to be on a honeymoon. Yeah, reaping those tax benefits, bro. Celebrating our love for each other, bro. Bro! bro. Hey, everybody. It's April 16th, 2024. This is our 32nd session of Free Yourself from Zoom, a support group to get off Zoom and re-enter the real world with courage and grace. As a reminder, this is our last session on Zoom. Next week, we will finally be meeting in person. <sighs> Look, I know it seems scary, but the pandemic has been over for almost two years now. You're muted. Danny, you're muted. 
I'm sorry, Chris. You know, this is just disturbing me. It, it's, it's not the pandemic, it's Zoom. Yeah, we feel comfortable in here. We thrive in here. I know you love Zoom, but you joined my sessions for a reason. Everyone else is back in the real world. Zoom is the real world. Yeah, everything we could do out there, we can do in here. I know you feel that way, and I honor those feelings. I think Lavender has something to say. I don't hear anybody using their words. No? Okay. So next what, next session we'll be meeting at Golden Gate Park. It'll be really low key. Um, excuse me, Chris? Yes, Lavender. I'm proud of you for using your voice, but can you remind the group what we said about using emojis? Emojis don't exist in real life. If I want to be heard, I should use my voice. Nice job, Lavender. Thanks, Ted. Lavender, did you have a question? Um, I private messaged you that in the chat. Lavender, we talked about this. I need you to ask it out loud. You've got this, Lavender. Thanks, Ted. Um, I was just wondering if we could keep talking about going and meeting each other outside, um, but we stay on Zoom. Because I've learned a lot from you, Chris. And, and yesterday, I almost went to a yoga class. Yoga with Adrian doesn't count. You weren't interacting with a real person. Adrian is a real person. Yeah, but you need to interact with a real person in a real location in real time. Now, don't worry, we will help each other adjust in a safe and non-judgmental environment. Do we have any questions about Yeah, yeah, I, I got one. Uh, can I bring my green screen? No. Um, will there be a waiting room? No. Will there be a leave meeting button? Of course not. Well, then how will I leave? You'll just leave. I, can I wear these sweet ass virtual shades? What? Um, <laughs> but will there be breakout rooms? No. Like, can we mute ourselves? No. Well, actually, you can mute yourself. You can keep your mouth shut. <sighs> Do I have to wear pants? I can't believe I have to say this. Yes, you have to wear a full set of clothing. But I can't think in pants. Yes, you can. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, but but are, are you not wearing pants right now? Nope. You don't have to show us. Sorry. I got, I got excited. It's just, it's great. You see, early on in the pandemic, I woke up late for work one day, so I just threw a button up over my boxers and nobody noticed. I felt free and my boss was really impressed with my work, so the next day, I didn't even wear boxers. I was inspired. I got a promotion. I've been on a roll ever since. It's been truly life-changing. Maybe I should try that. I couldn't recommend it enough. No, no one is taking their pants off. Ted, what if you have to go back into work? My job's fully remote now. Mine is too. I'm Danny, no. <sighs> Ted, have you ever thought that maybe you're just good at your job now? Not at all. I was mediocre at best. But then I found that I was just being constrained by the societal demands that pants put on the human psyche. Zoom. It saved me. No, it hasn't. Think of Lavender. Next week will be the first time that you meet in person. Haven't you been looking forward to that moment? Yeah. Well, do you think that the sweet, innocent Lavender wants to see you without your pants? <laughs> I, I mean- Danny? I mean, All right. Ted? Um, Look, you scared her away. Um, actually, I just took my pants off. This is amazing. That is it. You are all hopeless.
only a few more things to go through and our divorce was final. Okay, um, uh, the cast iron pen? Oh, oh no, 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 you take it. You use it way more than I do. Oh, and don't forget the Picasso painting you inherited from your great grandmother. Oh yeah, you know, I'm more of a Monet guy myself. You keep it. Oh, oh that's so sweet. God, I cannot believe how civil we're being with all of this. <laughs> What's next? Oh, um, you know, I'll just skip this next one and then... What is it? Oh, it's nothing important. Wait a minute. You're not doing what I think you're doing. No, I'm just trying to get this process going through fast because... You sneaky bastard. You thought you could take Timmy without me noticing. No, it's just... It's mine, okay? I want it. You, you what, mister, what is saturation? You're gonna take care of a sourdough starter all of a sudden? Huh? Excuse, excuse me, I care about the sourdough starter. Did you care about it when you eyeballed how much flour to feed it? Oh, one time, okay? I'm a good parrot, not like you tossing away the discard. What am I supposed to use that for? Oh, if you care as much as I do, you would know. Cared. Mm -hmm. Cared? Mm -hmm. You have no idea how much I care. You're always distracted by your stupid sports and your dumb cast iron pan. Oh, oh, don't you bring the cast iron pan into this, okay? How many times did you let it overrise because you were busy with your spin class? It's Peloton, and were you born knowing how to make bread? Oh, you're arrogant. You're the worst. I hate you. I hate you. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Why don't we just split it? Oh yeah. I mean, why do we think of that before? I don't know. Wow. Whoa. Whew. Well, I'm glad we got that taken care of. Jeez, it got heated. Sorry. No, 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 I'm sorry. Um, is there anything else on the list? Um, you know what? I'll let you have this last one. Wait a minute. You're not trying to stick me with Simon, are you? You're trying to stick me with our son? I just don't want to plan his birthday party. Oh, you think I want to plan it? I birthed him. Isn't that enough for you? I took him to the little league. Garden. Oh, you're just like your sister. I can't believe it. Of course you would say that. This is ridiculous. I don't believe this. Of course you would say that. Jesus. Are you a cannibal having a hard time during the pandemic? Sick and tired of having to go out and hunt down a fellow human just to get dinner on the table? Then you need HelloFlesh. That's right. HelloFlesh is a new meal kit delivery box made especially for cannibals like you. Simply use our app to choose your body parts and HelloFlesh does the rest. In two to three business days, a box will arrive at your doorstep and you're off to the kitchen. How do all those organs, legs, arms, and severed heads stay fresh in the mail? With our patented cryo-freeze technology, all your body parts stay as cold as the day they were harvested. So no more worrying about those delicate brains going bad before they get to your door. And there's so many recipes to try. Sautéed liver with lady fingers, and we mean real lady fingers. Bicep and hamstring flesh kebabs, and my personal favorite, man face souffle. Yum. Our humans are organically sourced, free-range people who live on our 100% secure ranch in Wyoming. You know what makes the ranch so secure? No one lives in Wyoming. And for your discerning cannibal friends, don't forget to check out our vegan box. That's right. This box is made for the body parts of vegans only. 
for that real grass-fed taste you can only get from HelloFresh. Not much of a chef? Me either, friend. But don't worry. Each meal kit comes with a recipe card that gives you step-by-step -step instructions. Cutting up human flesh has never been easier. All you need at home is a pot, a pan, a cutting board, some olive oil, and a knife. And we know you already have a good knife at home, right? Of course you do. With our easy-to-follow recipes, you'll be serving up kidneys and fava beans with a nice Chianti in no time. Hey, you had to let me get one Hannibal Lecter reference. Oh, and I almost forgot the best part. With HelloFlesh, you never have to go out hunting people again, which means avoiding nasty run-ins with the law and pesky family members trying to save their loved ones from a terrible fate. Am I right? So grab your phone and download the app today. You'll be the happiest cannibal on the block. Only $59.95 per week. What a steal. Now get out there and get cooking. Only with HelloFlesh. Seriously, though, it really helps you to not get arrested. Gary, we can do this. Ugh. How many more of these are we gonna have to go through? We've been through like 10 interviews and been uh, come up empty. As many as it takes, one way or another, we're gonna find the right sperm donor and we're gonna have a wonderful little family. Well, I hope you're right. Because honestly, some of these guys are terrible. Like not one of them has had a personality. Oh, oh here he is. Hey there. Oh, hey guys. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Sam. Hi, Sam. It's so nice to meet you. So Sam, what's your deal? Jerry. How are you? <laughs> Oh, no, it's totally okay. You know, I, I get it. This is a really big decision and you wanna make sure you got the right guy for the job. So totally okay. That's very nice of you to say, Sam. See, he's nice. Yeah. So Sam, uh, tell us a little about yourself. Oh, sure. Uh, well, uh, I'm originally from Napa Valley. Uh, I love dogs and I'm a neurosurgeon at a pediatric hospital. Oh, that's lovely. You have to be uh, pretty smart, I imagine. All that medical school. I mean, I guess so, but, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm no Einstein, though I did go into particle physics and I almost went into particle physics when I was in college. Um, but, you know, I realized if I became a doctor that I could save lives. And so that was it for me. Well, that's just the sweetest thing. Isn't that the sweetest thing? You know what? Yeah, it is. Uh, what do you do in your spare time? Oh, I like to work out. Oh, that's great. We're both actually champion cyclists, and it's really important to us that we can share that with our child. It's actually a deal breaker. Uh, you cycle, Sam? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I've got a bike. Yeah. I'm glad we got that out of the way. It's, it's really, really important that we raise our child with the joy of cycling so they can grow up to win the Tour de France one day. Uh, that's a, a very specific goal for an unborn child, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I hate to have to ask this. But, oh, what are my flaws, my deep, dark secrets? Well, well yeah, actually. Well, I, I do have a small addiction problem. Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. It's nothing like that. It's just, I love chocolate way too much, really. Um, I got to keep my cravings in check or else, you know, this, this felt facade you see before you, it'll blow up like a balloon. So uh, it's a real struggle. Well, that's not so bad. It's a Jerry. Chocolate can kill dogs. I thought you liked dogs, Sam. Gary, Sam, would you mind giving us a minute to just talk it over? Oh yeah, sure, yeah, no problem. I'll, I'll be right Sam. back. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> See that? His ass, it's, it's so flat. I mean, it's flatter than flat. It's like an ironing board. Well, that's just great. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Alice, 
How are we, how are we going to raise a world-class cyclist if our sperm donor has an ass like a countertop? I know. He, he couldn't even make it a quarter of the way through the Tour de France. Tour de France? He wouldn't make it down the friggin' block. Well, then we're a no, then. I mean, he's so perfect. He's smart, really good looking. Has a good work ethic. Alice, we cannot raise a child with a flat ass. It's just a deal breaker. Maybe it skips a generation, like baldness. So guys, uh, what's the verdict? Uh, we just, we have a couple more questions for you there. Oh uh, yeah, sure, shoot. Does any of your family have trouble like sitting down for long stretches at a time? What? Did your parents ever have trouble fitting into jeans well? Uh, I, I don't think I understand. Did your folks have a lot of overstuffed furniture or was it more like wooden bar stools and such? What, what are you getting at? You have a flat ass, Sam. It's flat. It's like a new TV. I mean, I guess I never, I never really noticed. Is, is that gonna be like a problem? I mean, did, did your parents, you know, have, have flat asses? I mean, I never really looked. Right, why would you? I mean, my father was an underwear model for Calvin Klein. Oh, well, that's promising. Do you ever do any modeling? I mean, look at you, you could. Okay, we get it. He's attractive. Let's get to the point. What about your mom? Um, well, actually, she was a porn star who specialized in spanking videos. Oh, well, that's, I mean, you can't have a flat ass and be spanked for a living, right? Maybe it does skip a generation. Uh, look, you guys, uh, I think I'm having second thoughts. Oh, no, 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 no. I, th I think we can take the risk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I think we can. Sam, would you be our sperm donor? Uh, yeah, I don't think I can help you to, to have kids. Uh, you guys have a lot of issues to work through. So uh, I'm going to go. Way to go, Jerry. Me? Why is this my fault? Let's, let's just look at the stats on the next one. All right. Alex, 35, hedge fund manager, fit. Oh. What? What is it? Five foot six. Short legs. Son of a bitch. Thank you so much for being here, Ms. Malone. It's an, you have heard so much talk about your London debut of Equus. It's an absolute honor to have you audition for the Royal Canadian Shakespeare Company. I mean, this is more a formality than anything. Oh, stop, stop. I'm not too big for auditioning yet. I'm, I'm so glad to be here. Great, what do I have the honor of hearing from you today. How about we just jump right into the balcony scene? <gasps> yes, I love it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Hmm. Romeo, hmm. Romeo, hmm. wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Honey, is that you? Mom? What are you doing here? I'm, I'm in an audition, remember? A very important audition. Oh, oh, yes, for that Mr. Banks guy. Oh, is this Mr. Banks? Hi there, sir. My daughter has been stalking your Instagram for years. Oh, um, stop it. So sorry. How did you even get in here? Honey, this is very important. My eyes are starting to tingle. Where did you put my allergy medication? What? Ever since you took over and reorganized my bathroom, I can't seem to find anything I'm looking for. You mean my bathroom? Uh, it's under the sink, sitting next to the- uh, Tums, right? Tummy tum tums, you told me. Oh, how silly of me. <laughs> oh, ta-ta. 
Oh my God, Mr. Banks, I am so sorry. I don't even know how she got in here. No worries. Mothers will be mothers um, from the top. Right, okay. Um, oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Honey, honey, the dog is having some stomach issues and ruining my carpet. Did you feed him his special food? You know, he can't eat that generic stuff. I, I fed the dog like you asked. Whatever was on the counter, Mom, can we please talk about this later? Oh, that was the cat's food, dear. Oh, kids, they never listen to anything you say, even when they're moved back in at 30 years old and unemployed after you pay for that MFA at Juilliard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you're saying, Mrs. Malone. Oh, please. Call me Janet. Mom, can you please leave? Sure, honey. You know, Mr. Banks, the MFA would have been better spent on someone like, oh, I don't know, me. <laughs> <laughs> I was the star of my high school play. I've always wanted to be an actor. Mom, you need to go. Fine. But you know any talent you've got, you got from me. Mm. Ah. <laughs> oh, and Jenny? Don't mess up. I'm so sorry, Mr. Banks, that won't happen again. No worries, your mother seems lovely. <laughs> From the top. <sighs> Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Not to be, that is the question. Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Born is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of truth. <laughs> That's not even the same play. But it's the better play. And you know women are playing Hamlet these days. You're a feminist, right, Mr. Banks? Oh, of course I am. Oh, why are you trying to sabotage my audition? Sabotage? <laughs> I'm just trying to be friendly. Mm -hmm. And let a uh, Mr. Banks see my uh, talent. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't care about you, Mom. I'm the one auditioning. Shall we... Shall we just start from the beginning? <laughs> oh, no, 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 I've seen enough. Your portrayal was spot on. I felt a genuine connection with the character. The role is yours. Oh, thank you, Mr. Banks. It'll be an honor collaborating with you. Oh, Jenny, no, 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 no. I was talking to Mrs. M Janet. My company needs somebody of your caliber. What? I can't take this anymore. You, you always do this to me. I'm moving out. Such a drama queen. Oh my God, I can't believe it finally happened. I got my COVID vaccine. <laughs> yes, now for the most important part, posting it on Instagram. Hold still while I snap a pic. Work it. Fierce. Scent. Oh my God, it looks so cute. One filter and done. Girl, I miss you. I miss you. It's only a matter of time before we're back together again, in person, drinking White Claws. You know, snapping that pic made me wonder, did like our ancestors share news about big stuff too? Huh. Sylvia, darling, it's a momentous occasion indeed. Our little sunny boy just got the new polio vaccine. 
Oh, James, it's truly marvelous. It is, my sweets. But you know what would make it even better? What? Telling everybody. Tell you what I'm gonna do, see? I'm gonna hire a photographer. He's gonna come over, take a picture of Junior. Then I'm gonna get on the horn, see? And call the papers. Take out advertisements. Oh, James, it's only a matter of time before our children are back together again, playing Ring Around the Rosie. I'll tell you what, I am plum happy that we finally got that fair tetanus vaccine. Mm-hmm. But something just don't quite feel right. Mm-hmm. I'll send out a telegram to all our familiars and make them aware of our good fortune. Mm-hmm. Polio vaccine. It's only a matter of time before we're back together again picking up sharp metal objects. By Jove, Lavinia, today is the day we are to receive indoor plumbing. How lovely! I will set to work at once embroidering a quill to proclaim our good fortune. And I shall hire a man on horseback to ride through the streets of London, waving said quip about for all to see. It's only a matter of time before people come over to defecate inside our home. <laughs> <laughs> We have controlled fire! Uh, I will write good news on cave walls so all will know. And I shall send smoke signals, you know, in case humans miss cave drawings. It's only a matter of time before... Wait, what is fire for exactly? Amoebas have finally done it. We have split in two. Incredible. It somehow doesn't feel incredible enough, though. I concur. It would feel better to tell others. I concur. But there are no others to tell. We must split again and again and again and again. I concur. Perhaps one day we will turn into a virus that can spread all around the world. And that's our show. Yeah. Woo. Uh, thank you so much for everyone who watched. Uh, also, big thank you to uh, all of our writers, Jeff Thomas, Crimson Toro, Melinda Kohler, Isabel Saragusa, Sergey Barkey, Benison Gerger, Elizabeth Simone, Melissa Clark Howard, our leadership group at Running the Glitter, which is Elizabeth, uh, Emily Russell, Sergey Barkey, Melinda Kohler, Nico Louise, and of course, 
Um, all of our actors here, uh, Isabel Siragusa, uh, Elizabeth Simone, Michael Kwan, Joseph Cox, Rashid Custer, Emily Russell, Sean Reimer, Sergei Barkey, Basil Allen Afori, and Kendall Warnock. Thank you all so much uh, for, oh, and, and Melissa Clark Howard. I, for, I forgot you on the actor name. That I, you're, you're right there. I didn't say your name. Uh, thank you all so, so much, uh, and have a great night. Thank you, and please support arts organizations 